epic intro music. Hello Penwalls, a Lycan Pictus here, and we are back with part 6 of my Rohan campaign for Divide and Conquer version 5. Now we're beginning this episode off by hitting the end turn button. Now, something I forgot to cover in the last part was that Theodred, in fact, gained Proven Commander for his huge battle where we retook Eisenrun. He actually got over 350 kills himself. Peasant Scouts also got 350 kills roughly too, so that battle went much better than we were expecting. Now, we also siege down Bregnus, so Isengard is almost completely eliminated now. And this is exactly what I was hoping to happen. Because if we kill this army, there's, look, there's just over a thousand combined forces of Isengard remaining. Uh, we got some Wargs, we got some Uruk High, and we got some Dunlan forces in that army. And then we have the, he's the new first captain, and he is the custom general for Isengard with the Isengard Pike. So again, very fearsome unit. We're going to have a problem with that, probably. And then we've got the crossbows, and we've got the raiders. Raiders are easy. So we're going to see what we can do. Um, we can withdraw if we need to. Um, but yes, we're just going to get underway. And then if we win here, crumbling these two armies, then we will indeed be able to basically defeat Isengard this turn, because the new Lord of Isengard is, that, uh, is the custom Dunland Lord. Um, which is interesting, because that is what I mentioned last time, is Dunland have taken leadership. Dunland have taken leadership of Isengard, and of course they already have Dunland. And we have Hammer here with one of the most fearsome of Rohan's units, the Metasil Door Wards, and they are to counter the enemy pikes. Um, and we're going to try to get the jump on these guys. We're going to go straight in with the usual, where we run the main cavalry around the back. Uh, and we're going to try and deal with the, the wargs and stuff like that. I think these guys are going to come out too. We're just going to try to deal severe damage early on. You get over there. Okay. And this is possibly King Fierden's... I don't remember if Fierden's actually fought a battle yet. This could be King Fierden's first battle. I will double-check that when editing the last part. Um, oh, that wasn't expecting them to kind of take up a defensive formation like that. I'm going to pause, because um, we've got the Slayers out front. So we could charge the Slayers as hoping to isolate some of the Warg Marauders. Um, and their other army is coming over there, so that's why they've done that. Um, but yes, they're not leaving their army very open. Let's just, yeah, okay, so the pikes are up there. So we want to kind of do some good damage before dealing with that. Slayers, spears, raiders, warg marauders. Okay, so we're going to try to get the warg marauders at least. Um, is that the slayers, yeah. We've got a bit of a wide formation though, so we probably don't want to go straight into those guys. Okay, you kill them, and now is the time to kill them. I do want to kill the Slayers, at least stop them firing, but obviously I'm a bit nervous of all the long spears right there. Fearden shouldn't have any trouble with some wargs. Now get out as well because of the spears. Hopefully that is... Yep, yeah, that's basically eliminated there. Archer unit. Okay. And they're making quick work of the wargs. Uh, we'll just move out slightly. <laughs> Okay, and again, the usual strategy, avoiding the spears and killing everybody else. This should be a fearsome charge. Got a few of the wargs in there too. Okay, yeah. Nope, more spears over there. Careful, careful. Okay. 
Now you get over there. You guys chase them down. Turn on the raiders. But yes, I am hoping to completely finish off Isengard in this episode. That would be fantastic. Oh, hurry up, you two. They're going to charge our other cavalry. Okay, you get out, you doing? What are you doing? Okay, just reform. Get out of the archer fire. <laughs> okay, finish off the raiders. Um, okay, kill them. Just stop firing for a second. Or shoot the long spears. Yeah, do that. No, I didn't want to pause there. Just finish off the wargs, come on. Yeah, I'm surprised. Good, 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 good. Okay, so the captain is down. I'm surprised how much of that Ruhirim unit I actually lost to that light infantry, though. We're shooting the long spears, the slayers. Can you finish those, please? Okay. You guys get over there. Okay. You put the fire at will back on, but try to keep shooting at the spears. Okay. Shouldn't have much hassle with the slayers now, no. There's only four of them left. You guys turn. So we've got raiders coming in. We'll try to hit them with the cav. Finish off the one guy. Um, and now we've got to do, work a little bit of magic because of the spears. Uh, oh, Urukai crossbow there. That's not what I was hoping for. Hit them for sure. Um, I'm happy to lure those guys out and stay in skirmish for a little bit. That one there is the fearsome unit, the pikeman. Okay. Decent, decent. Get out. Okay, well, you keep firing at them. Okay. Okay, you hit the crossbows again, and you come back round. You're not doing much at the moment. You need to get back down there. We'll hit the raiders with the general. Yeah. Okay, that charge could have been better. You keep shooting them. You shoot them. To be honest, that could even route that single unit there. Although they do have the general. Not bad, not bad. Shaken. Get out. Um, and then you charge the crossbows again. Pikeman up there to watch out for. Finish those guys. Right, they're being shot, so the crossbows are shooting those guys, which we don't want. Okay, get out. Get out. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Good, good, good. They're half of their army is defeated, but we're still not quite doing as much damage as we would like. Okay, and you guys, they're out of ammo now, so they might as well just keep firing. Um, well, their last volley or so. 
Right, we've routed that unit. Oh, we almost forgot about those guys. Luckily, they didn't lose anyone. They're down to three men, two men, and get out. Then we got long spears. We got long spears, crossbow, and pikes. So these guys actually, you just finish off the crossbows. And we try to lure the pikes away. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, now we've just got extra cav because they're out of ammo. Okay, so you get over there until we decide what to do. Uh, you're going to have to reform. That is poor. All right. And actually, we will uh, rear charge the spears now because we've got our spear unit in there too. Okay. So you're, you're going to get over here, um, and they're in combat, I need to watch that. Okay, we're going to do a swap. You guys get in, you get out, and then we'll flee from the pikes. Okay, rear charge, please. And you guys should have finished the crossbows off. Okay, then hopefully they will rout. There's only 36 men in that spear unit, but I still don't want to charge. Okay, you guys have to get out, and then we're going to have to watch here. Hopefully they rout. Uh, decent, but no, not routing just yet, so we'll get them out. I think they lost a reasonable amount on that charge, which was a shame, but this is just what we have to do um, and just finishing off those crossbows would be nice they don't really have to reform properly because they're an archer unit just finish those crossbows finish those crossbows that's good that's good because we've got to turn the doorwards around okay okay the crossbows will be done Okay, get out again. We lose a lot of men doing that, but it kind of needs to be done. I mean, you can join the charge over here in case they they should beat them on that turn. We need them to round them up. We need them to route. Um, because we need to turn this line around. They are routing. Good. So you get over here. And you turn around quickly. And you get over there. Okay. Okay, I like how this is going now. We just have to do a bit of magic against the pikemen. Got a general pikesman unit as well. Okay. They've got three guys charging us for some reason. They are routing. Oh, it's own. Oh, okay, okay. It's from the other unit. Makes sense. Keep running. And then finish those guys off before they do anything. And then it is just the pikes to defeat. Okay. Good. So now form up to fight the pikes. And then we'll be popping the special ability. Chill out, dude. I guess these are the two equal units, the door wards and the pikemen. I guess the door wards will hopefully be slightly better. Let's charge them. Let's charge everybody into the back of the pikes. Um, 
106 versus 125. I wonder who would win without the cavalry support. Yeah, get them out before the next one comes in. Defeat seems certain. 103 against 117. Charge, Rohirrim! Decent, get out. We've blocked our charge slightly, but I don't think it will matter too much. I think it still kind of counts. Anyway, get back out. I still don't want to risk um, Theoden or Ian uh, charging the backs of pikes, however. But we will line up again. 98 on 98. Very even. We'll put these boys into the back of them. Charge! We are winning though. 96 on 92. So they would probably win anyway without the cycle charging. And 96 on 68. We'll try to save the archers for the moment. Okay, that wasn't actually a very good charge, unfortunately. But 96 are still standing, so that's good. We lost quite a few men on that charge, unfortunately. Let's have a go with the 50 unit. Ninety-six men still stand. You can see how fearsome they are. Ninety-six of them. Yes! Okay, that is why it was taking a little bit of a grind, I think, but they should rout now. The actual general is dead. That was a great charge. Get back out, and we'll send the row here in for one final smash. Behold how our cowardly foe Good. It's time to press the attack. And that is basically... I probably kept saying this, but that is basically Isengard eliminated. They only have Lord Luag. Or what's his face called? That was a good win because they had a lot of spears and we were primarily cavalry. So it was a good idea to bring Hammer with us into that one. And he still sat at 94 men. So I think he really is the best of the three generals. Wait, no, that isn't Hammer. That is... Or is it Hammer? Can't remember. But we will soon find out. Look at that 403 kills from the Rohirrim. Ooh, brilliant. Brilliant stuff. That's what I like to see. And even the Dorwoods only got 92 kills. They actually got the least out of all of the units. However, they hold the line. So that was crucial. They were crucial in that victory too. Just imagine in the late game getting a whole line of those guys. Nothing would break you. And then you'd have the Eurod Lancers supporting you too insanity. Let's hope that we can achieve something like that. We will be executing them. Oh, I think that's Derwolf under our control as well. Oh, I didn't see that guy up there actually. Look. Oh. That's not good. It looks as if that could potentially be the Doom stack. It looks like Isengard. Oh. Okay, so this... T yeah, oh, great. This is the Doom stack. Oh god. We might as well just auto resolve this one. We're not going to do any damage to them. That was a little bit disappointing because I didn't know that. That means that they spawn a full stack to recapture Isengard, but they also get a Doom stack. So they've got Isen run back. So we're going to have to recapture that for a third time. And they do still have forces. So. We're going to have to bring the full army back now. Glory, honor, but at least we can sit these guys in Durwaf. Okay, our income is absolutely fantastic at the moment. So there's that, at the very least. 
but we're definitely going to have to come up with something. We can only hire Helmingus, look. We're going to have to do it. And then the cavalry over here. Two turns to get some cav. Oh, we've got more cav over here. Let's do it. We'll get some peasant scouts to throw into the mix. Okay, so we what we've done is we did have uh, Theodred move to that fort there to start planning our next move, but we've had to move him quite a way back. And they've also got the um, Dunland faction heir coming in, so we might be able to poach him on the way back. But this army is a situation. So I've had a little bit of a look around, and I've cancelled all my troop production in all of these regions and just spent all my money on the merch mercenary side because I need the troops here right now. So uh, this force over here uh, led by Theoden and Ioma is just going to stay at that size and we could hopefully take Gind on this turn because it is not walled and then we can start running them back to hopefully that fort or towards Grishnak because we've uncovered a Grishnak general, not the Grishnak, because he is a Mordor general, but just a generic one. And and we've got um, Druidane hunters and bandits recruited over here, and mm -hmm. Theodred has recruited the Dunlanding Longspears and two units of bandits. And that also increased his command as mercenary captain. So he is now proven commander and mercenary captain. He's up to seven out of ten command, which is better than the Dunland heir. So he should win that engagement if he wants to come towards us. And it looks like we are going to have to fight him. Yeah, and then we're really just going to have to see what we can do. We might have to just hope that they don't send the full army towards Derwaf because that means Hammer may get killed. And then if they do, we can yes. jump in with Theodred in a couple of turns and hopefully at least kill their general at the very least. Um, because we need to somehow delete their faction. It is now paramount that we kill all three of these generals. Okay, so they have been reinforced. They had a unit of Urukai raiders over there for some reason. Maybe we'll go and kill them first just because they're separate. They always throw a curveball at you on this game. I really, really thought that I was going to be eliminating Isengard easily this turn. Right, we're going to reform over here because of the reinforcements. Uh, we're going to see what they do first as well. Um, because we only need to send one of them. And we don't need to run all the way over there and exhaust ourselves. So... I would like to see if the other guys want to actually come and fight. They look like they might do. So whatever comes out first, we might attack. But we don't have Hammer to help us with the spear, the spears on this one. Okay, so they have cavalry, and they look like they're sending the spears in first. No, they're turning around again. I think Theoden wants to start cutting off those reinforcements because he will easily deal with them. And if they want to send the spears in first, I'm quite happy to start shooting them. It looks like they're bringing the cavalry out. Yeah, they're all the way over there. Right, we're going to sandwich this cavalry. Okay, they're bringing the archers in. Um, although we're firing at their cavalry, so there's no need to charge them just for the moment. Yeah, we're killing them just with the archers. And now we will charge them. Because we want to be firing on the spears. That should pretty much eliminate that. Because Ioma doesn't even need the help. And he's got assistance. So good. Shoot those long spears.
the Brennan's guard are in the archer unit as well, so we've got to watch out for that. Okay, they're having a bit of a struggle with skirmish mode. But it should be fine now. The cavalry is dead. Oh no, they've still got six men left. Just kill them. Okay, so you get over there. Right, we might need a cheeky rear charge on the Brennan's guard here. This is giving us a, a sneak peek into Dunlan's troops as well. Because the Brennan's Guard is the standard bodyguard unit for Dunland. And of course the Dunland General for Isengard has that unit to showcase it. Now for us. Now for ruin. But we don't want to leave Ema in there. Or... Um, oh god. Get the run on properly please. You get out of there, maybe you charge in. There is that other unit coming, but I'm not worried about them. Keep chasing the spears with the archers. You get over there, we want to split them apart. You get into them. Look at that, we actually killed about 20 of the Brennan's Guard. We should have charged them there. Yeah, we, God, we should have charged them. Didn't know that's how it was going to go, though. Let's pop the ability because we got a bit stuck there. Yes! A worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. Okay, so we have killed the enemy general, which is Lord Luag, so he wasn't too formidable after all. That, again, is what I like to see. That's turning into a little bit of a catchphrase. <laughs> right, now get out. We want to see where Theoden is. He's over there. Uh, you kill the archers. You kill the archers too. Um, and... They should start beginning to rout now. We'll just have one more fearsome charge on the Brennans. The Brennans guard did not hold long, did it? Which is quite a good omen for when we fight Dunland. You get out. The Brennan guard still managed to charge you there. And you rout the remainder, please. Okay, I would have liked... Better results there, but oh well. The long spears are almost eliminated. They are routing. You can finish them off, and you go after them. We've still got ammunition for the moment. Get that unit down to as little as possible before we go anywhere near it with the horses. Kill that last one. And then all charge the raiders, because they are weak. And then we'll come back for the spears. So successful win, that did actually go pretty well. Happy with that. And now we've got to do, as I keep saying, a little bit of magic. A little bit of Rohiric magic to get rid of that doomstack. I may risk charging the cavalry for a rear charge here. Give, confuse them a little bit. Okay, good. That's the raiders. Right when I was doing a bit of micro, though. Kill them. Please rout. Yep, they are going to rout. They're wavering. Those spears are going to do a little bit of damage if they don't rout. Oh, God. Look at that. They killed about six men there just because they didn't rout straight away. Oh, well, we have now one. So that is Gind. I think that's Gind captured. Yeah. Heroic victory. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant EMO with 150 kills. A legend. And Theoden almost up to full experience. Now that's definitely something to remember. Um, Isengard have two Doomstacks. We will occupy that. 
Uh, we got Horsemaster with King Theoden. That is brilliant. We'll have a Watchtower, because why not? Gives us a little bit more vision. Um, that might even lure him towards us, because he'd probably fancy killing Uma there. Right, so we're probably going to get everybody except the General come out of Eisenrun and siege Durwath. That is my prediction. But for now, we're going to end the turn and see if that prediction is what happens. A smaller force would be preferable, of course, because we want to be able to save Hammer. But I didn't account for this second Doomstack, so... Oh, no, that's good. That's good, because we could defeat him. Okay, we might be able to run the cavalry around the Doomstack. Okay, Frucka is fleeing from us, that's what we need. We basically just need all the troops right now, so I'm going to hire more mercenaries, if possible. We can get more mercenaries, we'll get some more long spears, and we're going to need them. So, yeah, where is our spy? We need him. Just tell me what's in this army, please. Okay, so nothing we can't beat with cavalry. Leaving Theoden completely on his own is not, definitely not recommended. But we're going to have to do it, I think, and I hope we can get them into the settlement. I'm going to save it first, because we're going to save it over both of them. Uh, because if we can't get Iama into that settlement and the Doomstack crushes, I really just don't want Iama to die. And we're going to attack. We're going to kill Grishnak, who is now their new faction leader. I love it how they do that. Um, so we're going to actually kill two more Lords of Isengard in this turn. You are not being controlled by the enemy, thank you very much. By the AI, sorry. <laughs> by the enemy. And maybe we get everybody collected in Durwath. I'm not sure. Right, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Okay, so we have all of that. That should be easy enough. Let's just go straight into them. And then if we need to go meet up with these guys, we will. The road with Rohirrim! I find archers won't do much against the Rohan bodyguard. Crossbows, on the other hand, will annihilate a few of them. Okay, that's good. Get out. Get out, and we could start running the rest of the army over when they come into the battle. Okay, you get out, come on. We might lose this unit of Rohirrim. We're losing quite a few full units in this campaign, but we're just gonna have to we just have to deal with what happens to us, unfortunately. Okay, you get over there. We'll do a split attack. Keep going. Don't like it when they're all bunched up, so we'll wait until they are no longer bunched. These guys are firing already too. Okay, so the general wants to come for these guys, which is good because Ierma can go clean up someone like the archers. We'll wait for him to come a bit closer. Oh, we could start bringing up this line. You start running this way. Um, and yes, look, the raiders are getting annihilated by our archers. You charge them now and leave the general's bodyguard behind. Right, that was a decent charge, decent charge. Yep, we should reasonably easily win this. Okay, you now charge them. Good, 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 good. I wasn't needing to... That, I mean, I wasn't expecting to be needing strategy to finish off Isengard, but here we are. <laughs> okay, you get out. You get out. Okay, you go this way. Kill some archers. You can probably both finish the archers together now. And then we'll deal with the General. OK, 
Okay, you get out still. Okay, there's some support archers. You kill them. You get away before they turn up. Uh, Ema get out, that is uh, not what we want. You kill them, Ema run, Ema run, Ema run. Okay, got got a delivery. Yeah, it gets the blood pumping when you have to, when you're in the middle of fighting a war and then the postman turns up, Kingsley tries to murder him, so you have to charge down the stairs shouting at the dog and then get the delivery back in. So we'll see. Whew, we'll see where we are. Right. So 14 archers left. We're going to get you out and we're going to cycle charge with you again. And the raiders. We'll just keep shooting the raiders for a minute. Run, please. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we've been caught by the bodyguard. Skirmish and fire at will off, please. Because they should be able to clear up the raiders now. We'll go in for another charge. We've got the rest of our units coming in. Just kill these two units off and we'll start trying to focus on these guys. You shoot them. You shoot them with skirmish back on. Okay, you just line up. That would be great if you two could start shooting him too. Kill them. Kill them. Okay. Okay, just run. Okay. And we'll give them a solid charge. And that should rout them. But I'm happy for the uh, missile units to absolutely destroy them first. We're in no rush. Oh god, you guys, you guys, you guys. No, 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 no. You guys get back over here. We're not using you. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is good. They are severely, severely weakened. These guys are out of ammo. These guys I'm going to tell to stop firing because we're going for a rear charge. And they should hopefully route now. You just run away now. Yes. Okay, so that's Grishnak 2 defeated. That's countless Isengard generals murdered. <laughs> okay, get out of there. Going for another charge because they've still got 22 men that haven't routed. Okay, you get running, get running, get running. Don't want any archers to get killed there. Ema run, Ema run. Catch up with them. They're absolutely wavering. We could send... Okay, that's good. Oh, stop shooting. They're all shooting. Stop shooting. Halt. Halt. 
Don't know why you're shooting, you're out of ammo. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Right, and we'll finish them off. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Okay, we hardly took any casualties. Brilliant. Now we're just going to take a quick look at the campaign map, and we're going to fight the next battle in the next episode. But I just want to come up with a quick plan. Execute. Yeah, we got Isengard's leader is dead for like the fourth or fifth time. Glory, honor, Good. Trait increaser Irma has gotten proven commander too. And honestly, that should take him yes. to full command now. It does. So Irma is now at 10 command. So his, none of his troops are going to rout ever. Now, this is very, very risky. But as you can see, it says Captain Ilknaz. So we're going to hide Irma in here for the moment. We're going to build these standing stones. Oh no, we didn't want to do that. Oh, I think it's probably alright though. I think it's probably alright. Because we spent all the money. Yeah, we can't reload it because I don't want to fight the battle again. So we're just going to have to hope. Okay, so they are sieging Derwath. I've got a plan. I don't know if it'll work. Okay, they've got Berserkers. What is that unit in there? Okay, so they've got Crossbows, Berserkers, and Uruk Bodyguard. Not the scariest, you know. Not the scariest. Okay, so Gondor here. I don't know what they're doing. That's sus. Okay, so we've got a new family member. Um, that is what I like to see. I'll probably go through that at the start of the next one. Looks like it can reach Eisenrun, so we're going to leave Urkenbrand behind. Yes. And now Prince Theodred can take Eisenrun. And I'm hoping that will... Oh no, they've got a general. That means they got Man of the Hour since the last turn, because it was Captain Ilknaz. That's a little bit frustrating. That means potentially we might still have to fight it, but there is a chance that we can just cut the head off the snake here, and that is what I'm going for. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.